hey what's going on guys I hope you guys are doing great today and in this video I'm gonna show you eight useful JavaScript hacks so that you can use inside your code so let's dive into this and let's get started so basically I have created uh, HTML5 and in this uh, I open one uh, script tag to write some JavaScript to show you these beautiful eight useful JavaScript hacks right so here I have created an object the name person and I have taken some things in that like name role and phone and the last one is like YouTube that is set to true these all are these three are uh, the above three uh, values are string values and the last one is the boolean value so our first useful JavaScript hack is we can check conditions with and and operator so basically if you want to check the condition then you would use you could use if condition right person that is our object dot name right if this exists then it, then it is going to give us an output in the console that is uh, true right so let's save this and let's see inside the browser yeah you can see here let me uh, make it large let me make uh, let me make it large so that you can see clearly that is set to true the console dot log this statement that is true if this exists so you don't need to use if statement to check conditions in JavaScript but you can do this in one line let me show you how you can do that you just need to take your object name your value and console dot log yeah right let's use semicolon here and let's save it let's see the browser let's see in the browser you can see here the yeah is appearing in the console BAM you can see you can check conditions with and and operator and I hope you got this point right so let's move on to the next step and let's see the next useful JavaScript hack that is we can debug JavaScript easily using the debugger key method uh, using the key debugger keyword right uh, suppose if you have taken a variable a equals to 1 right and you are saying that a increments or you want to add 4 in it so that you can use it with the shorthand operator of the plus right and if you want to debug the issue the, uh, the issue which is causing your program to stop then you can debug your code using the debugger key method, uh, keyword right this keyword will allow you to debug the issue uh, the problem which is getting in your code which is stopping your code from executing right so debugger is a method debugger is a keyword you can use it to debug the issues right so hope you got this so let me comment out this line and let's move to the next beautiful and useful JavaScript hack that is we can convert to boolean using not not operator right so you might be wondering how you can do that so let me show you with an example right if you define a function uh, called bucket right and you're saying that uh, water equals to water or you can say water right so you need to pass this argument here to take the value as a parameter so this dot water equals to water right this dot uh, you can say this dot has water right so if you want to check that this bucket has water or not then you can mm, say you can use one function one anonymous function in this to check the bucket has water or not right so let's let me show you how you can do that if water greater than zero 
right? If order greater than zero, then you can say return true, right? Else you are going to return obviously false, right? So this is your code, right? If your bucket has water, then you are going to return true. If it is not, uh, if the bucket doesn't have any water, then you are going to return false. So for this, you need to write this anonymous function to check the bucket wa has water or not. So it is the lengthy one. You can do this in one line to check this bucket has water in it or not. And you can do, do that using this one line statement that that is this dot has water equals to not not water what it does is it does uh, it it converts the value and it returns the boolean value that is if it if the bucket has water then it is going to return true so let me show you how you can get an output from this function by defining by creating an object where w new of bucket and i'm gonna pass three inside this bucket and I'm gonna check w dot water w dot water right I want to know the amount of water which we are passing that is three liters we are getting three right and I want to check the value of has water right yeah we are getting true here you can see if this bucket has water then it is going to return the true if it's not then it is going to return the false. Let me tell. Uh, let me tell you one thing here is this operator accepts only the positive values, positive numbers which are greater than zero, and it is it will not accept zero or negative numbers. So make sure you give proper values in it, right? So let's move to the next step that is convert string to number using plus operator, right? Uh, I am defining a variable. Uh, in a string one two three four five six and what I'm do what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna convert this string into the number a sorry a dot number or you can say number of a this is the correct way of converting string into number right you can see one two three four five six but you can do this in one line and let me show you how you can do that so cut this entire string from the variable and delete this variable and give it give it inside the console.log it will give you the exact string that you can see here and if you uh, if you want to uh, if you want this string to be converted in a number then make sure to give plus operator this indicates the conversion of string into number right so hit you can see the output and you can also use a variable a and you can pass it pass this string here pass this string here inside this variable and you can say a right so let's save and let's refresh in the browser to see an output you can see here uh, the one two three four five six it is in in the number format so hope you got this and let me show you the next hack of this video for JavaScript lovers that is set default value using or operator right if a person has name and we can see if a person has name right or doesn't have doesn't have name right or doesn't have you can say doesn't have only right so let's use and you can store this value inside one variable right what we are doing here is we are taking a value if this person has name the person which we have created here don't get confused we are getting this person dot name value inside this variable or uh, and we can console dot log this value um, B right so let's save it and let's see in the browser right you can see here Sayyid Mahmood Khunmir is 
uh, there inside the person dot name value or we can say if we remove this name from this object and let's save it and let's refresh in the browser yeah you can see here does not have right if you do not have if you uh, if you are not getting any value the value the object value or any or any value then you can set the default value using our operator hope you're getting me and hope you are understanding the beautiful hacks and the useful hacks of JavaScript you can actually define the default value if you are getting an empty or or if you are getting a null you can define it using the or operator so let's revert back right so you can use this operator so let's move to the next hack that is the template string uh, this part this uh, hack is already shown in the late in the previous tutorial of mine you can find the uh, that tutorial on my channel that is epicop so let me show you one more time here uh, right you can define var c equals to uh, you can say hello I am plus plus and a programmer right so let's use one more variable my name my name equals to Musa right so let's use this my name here inside between these two plus operators this will concatenate console.log sorry console.log c right let's save it and let's see in the browser hello i am musa a programmer right you can see here hello i am musa let me give you uh, let's give a space here so it looks better you can see hello I am Musa a programmer right so this will concatenate the variable value but you can do this in one line so let's remove this double quotations from here this plus signs as well plus mark this one and don't we don't need this one right so let's use backticks here sorry backticks here the backticks are beautiful and they allow us to use any variable inside our string that is the power of JavaScript so all we need to do is we need to use dollar sign with the curly braces right so let's save this and let's see in the browser yeah we are still getting the same value if we remove the double quotation this back takes allow us to embed or to use variables inside our string so this is the old trick you might know this but I have shown you if you don't know then make sure to use these template strings inside your JavaScript code so let's comment out this line and let's move to the next hack of this video that is the last item from an array using slice method right if we define an array equals to uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 right we have five elements inside our array and we can get the last value the last item from an array using the slice method right and if we want the last item of this array then we can use the index as minus one it represents the last value it returns the last value from this array yeah you can see here uh, the value is five you can see here the last value is five right we are getting the last value inside this object five the index uh, the last value is five so you can get it using the slice method so let's move to the next hack and that is the last hack of this video 
that is the HTML ID hack for JS but I won't recommend you to use inside your code inside your JS code because it's a bra it's a bad practice so don't use it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a paragraph inside my body and I'm gonna say hello epicop my channel name right so I'm gonna define I'm gonna give one ID to this paragraph uh, sorry paragraph let's use this ID to style uh, the color to give the color of that paragraph right so basically what you do is you do document dot get uh, sorry get element by ID right you do this right you do in this way but you can do this using paragraph dot style dot color equals to blue bam and you can see the output here the hello epicop is appearing in the blue color and you can use it directly you don't need any document dot get element by ID it's a hack you can use it but I won't recommend you it's a bad practice hope you enjoy this video and hope you like this video and please give a big thumbs up to this video if you like this and make sure to share this video with your friends and please subscribe my channel and thanks for supporting me and don't forget to watch the previous tutorials on ionic and ASP.NET Core. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon.